SciTie Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you a very fun project on how to make a jitterbug. Let's get started. So these are the components that you're going to need. You're going to need a battery cell holder, two red LEDs, a clean penny, two caps to put over the LEDs to amplify the light a little bit better, a DC motor that vibrates, a single pull, single throw switch, some thick gauge wire, and some regular wire. First, I want to start with taking this penny and putting it next to the battery holder. And then there's this lead right here. I need to bend this lead right here. And now I want to go and put some solder to hold it into place. Soldering onto a penny is actually a little bit difficult, so be aware of that. And it holds in pretty good. Now what I want to do is take this LED and bend this leg just like that. And there we go, I have the leads bent. And I also want to add a little bit of hot glue just to secure the penny into place a little bit better and to make sure that it's attached really well. Because after all, this is going to start vibrating and everything come apart. So now what I'm doing is I'm getting my pocket knife and I'm going to go and shave off the, the penny a little bit to, expo to expose the zinc. So that way the solder will solder to the zinc a little bit easier and better. There we go. Now I'm going to go and heat up the zinc a little bit. And now I'm putting some more solder. And now I'm soldering the LEDs into place. I'm soldering in the, the cathodes to the penny first. Now I'm going to go and put some hot glue on everything. And that will make things extra secure. There, now I can bend the LEDs, and I'm going to put these caps on the LEDs, just so that way the LEDs can light up and spread the light a little bit better. And now I'm going to go and bend these leads right here a little bit to make it look like antennas. Now I'm soldering some wires to the anode of the LED. Now I'm soldering some wire to the cathode of the LED. I have right here my vibrating DC motor. Polarity doesn't matter, it can be either polarity. So I'm going to go ahead and solder right there. And I'm going to go and glue the vibrating motor onto the bottom of the jitterbug. Be careful, try to avoid getting glue onto the spinning part of the motor, otherwise it won't work if it's glued. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and attach the two positive wires, or the anodes, up from the LEDs. And now I'm going to add an extra wire to the two wires right there. So that way I can attach the two wires plus extra wire to the motor and have one wire exposed, which I can attach to the switch. There we go. Now it's soldered into place. Now I'm going to solder with the one wire to the switch. Now I'm soldering another wire to the switch. And then solder it to the positive part of the battery. Glue everything into place. Now 
now it's time to go ahead and give this jitterbug some legs. So I'm going to go and take this thick gauge wire, this thick copper gauge wire, and I'm going to go and place it onto the bottom of the jitterbug. Try my best to make sure all the legs are all even. And there we go, the final two legs goes in the back, glued into place. And there you have it, the jitterbug circuit is complete. And it turns on and it works. Not on top of this material, I need to have a smoother material for it to vibrate better, but there you have it. The circuit is complete. The jitterbug is finally completed. Now let's go ahead and adjust the legs and test it out. And there it is, the jitterbug works perfectly. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. Hope you learned something new, and I hope you like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.